everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a multi floral design for you on this painted or, I'm sorry on this green glass bottle I have already washed it off and uh, gone over it with rubbing alcohol it's good to go this is my bottle that I do a lot of sample um, do my videos do my samples on for, just so you know I am going to be using two Imagic flat brushes. One is a 14, one is a 10. And I will list these down below through affiliate links so you're welcome to purchase through them. I'm using a number 16 round brush, also an Imagic. A number four, or actually a number two. Number two, Deerfoot Stippler. A fine liner by Westonia. And a low Cornell Aura brush. Paint I'm using are all folk art paints. I'm using fresh foliage, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and accidentally I put in thicket, and, and so I'm going to be using actually a mixture of thicket and hunter green. So when I loaded my palette back up, I accidentally put the wrong green on there using cerulean blue and also using tea berry all right so let's go ahead and get started the first thing i'm going to do is i uh, use my number 16 flat or 14 flat brush sorry i'm dipping one side into the warm white and i didn't say warm white did i i'm sorry i do have i don't think i said this warm white if i did um, just ignore me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just simply putting one color on one side of the brush, the other color on the other side, and I will begin. Make sure you can see this. Okay, I want to have my brush heading this direction, so I'm just pushing down. I'm going to swing down a little bit and come back up. So I have a slight little indent there. You can do this as a four petal or a five petal flower. That's up to you. And I just keep tipping my sides into the paint as I go. It's not, not difficult at all. There you go. And then I'm going to just try to stagger these a little bit again with the design. I did it, do it on paper and I a lot of times have a smaller surface to paint on when I'm actually doing my video. I'm trying to get it out of the glare though because I do notice the glare. Again, you can see just very simple. Kind of almost reminds me of a heart. So on these, I'm just going to do two because that's what the space is going to allow me. I will take the end of this brush and put it into the yellow ochre. And I'm just going to do a very simple, simple, simple dot in the center. Now, if you want to do a different center, you're more than welcome to do that. It's just what I decided to do on this one. All right, so then I'm going to take my Aura brush and put it into my paint. And this is going to go into the uh, tea berry. And I'm just going to come through here and just touch it lightly. Because I like to have the hole in the center of the flower if possible. And I'm just going to stagger these out. Kind of put them around a little bit. Okay. Again, these are just very simple. I love this brush. I, th I think these flowers that you can make with it are so cute. And I like to have odd numbers whenever possible, even though I know with these two I have even. But I'm going to break away here and do another one down here. 
again hopefully you can see all this just like that again very simple taking the, the handle of the brush putting into the cerulean blue and I'm going to use this for my centers and they don't have to be perfect because you know, I didn't touch completely in the centers as far as the petals together which is fine I think they're cute I like them loose and then I'm going to take my round brush I'm going to dip it into the the warm light just get the bristles all, all covered I need to try to avoid the blue as much as possible but I'm just going to touch down touch 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 sorry I have to pull my hand in front there because I'm a lefty and then I'm just going to put these just wherever I can without trying to get too much of the paint because I really didn't want to get the paint in there but I did so that's okay if you don't want to then make sure that you dry it off or dry it off excuse me make sure that you hit it with a hair dryer or a heat gun before painting it if you don't want to pull the paints into it this one's going to just kind of wipe the brush off a little bit. So it's like that. Making it simple. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I like that. I'm just going to do the threes. And matter of fact, like with this one, if you wanted to fix it up a little more, you could. If this is not opaque enough, you can go back over it. If you wanted them all to match, you could go back over all of these with the colors that pulled into this one, but I'm not going to do that. It's okay. I'm just going to kind of go back over it a little bit, try to fill it in as much as possible, but it's good. I'm okay with it, just the way it is. All right, so then what I'm going to do is take the small little your foot stippler. I'm going to put it into the tea berry. Just kind of pounce down. I can just lightly hit it if I want, like that. I'm not going to do any difficult centers on these at all. Not that I normally do, anyways, but just make them really loose. That's exactly what I want. All right, so then I'm going to put my brush, my little fine liner, into the greens. And I can just tip them like that if I want. And then I'm just going to put in my stems. Going down through this, and I can even pull out this end, or I could have pulled it that direction, whichever way, it doesn't really matter. But you can come back and put in another color so you can see it better since the since the bottle's green too. Just very simple, very, very simple. I'm going to put that aside and then I'm going to come with my number 10 flat brush and I'm going to put little bits and I could even top into the white if I wanted to, but I'm just going to come in here with a little bit of the different colors and just mix them together so I don't have at least three or four colors to it. And I'll just keep doing that, adding as I go. All right, so here I'm going to add my first leaf. And I'm doing more of the, just a little wiggle leaves that come in. Again, I can do some white here if I want to, to make it stand out a little bit more. That's true too. And let's see what else we do here. 
So it's a little bit lighter if I put a little bit of white in there. Just very simple wiggles. Very simple. And it has a little bit of green on it. And I'll just come over here and do some. The only thing is, is you got to be careful because I will pull one color just like that because it's wet underneath. So just like if you were doing layering and you didn't want that, go ahead and give it some dry time or hit it with a heat gun, however you want to do it. Let's make it prettier. Just like that. Oh, so you can just look at it and put some wiggle, wiggle leaves wherever you find space. I'm going to try to avoid this as much as possible. Avoid this uh, tea berry flower right here because I don't want to pull that color in. Like that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put those down below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so I'm just basically just kind of filling in some of these bigger leaves wherever I find space. And then what I can come back in and do is either wipe my brush off and then just come in with just some basic leaves that show up more. You can actually, you know, add add another color to them if you choose. And here we go. I'm going to put some in the middle here. You can leave that open if you want, or you can put some more in the center there too. I'll just pick a few spots, add some of the lighter, and I'm just basically pulling them. They don't have to be perfect. I'm not shooting for perfection. I, you won't get perfection <laughs> from me, unfortunately. All right, so I'm going to come back in here and go back into this and I can add some white in there if I want. Now's the time for me to just put my little little veins, little stems in. And if you know how I roll, you know I'm going to want to just kind of put some additional little things on the ends just to kind of make them a little wispy, if that makes sense. And you can add, you know, add more leaves if you want. I think this seems to have a lot of leaves. And just pretty simple. I guess I you want to add some light into it, you can. Sometimes depending on what color combinations you have going on, will make it stand out more. finish here. And that's good. All right, I hope you like this. Again, very simple but pretty colorful. Almost like red, white, and blue in a sense, but not really quite red. Uh, but anyways, probably kind of fitting for 9-11. I do appreciate you stopping by. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. 
new to my channel, please subscribe at that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe.